Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Box Bear Gaming. Today I am doing a voiceover on my murder mystery video because typical me forgot to turn the microphone off, so he's gonna have to live with it. So in murder mystery, basically, I'm sure you know how to play this. You just basically one of you get selected as the murderer, one of you the sheriff who has to shoot the murderer, and the rest are innocent who has to run away from the murderer and collect candies. So here I am innocent, so I don't really have much of a role. So, I'm just collecting candies, walking around, making sure I don't run into the murderer. She seems a bit suspicious, so I kept away from her. Then I decided to follow her, because I don't make any sense. So I did a hide behind the sofa, because why not? And then, running over to the dining room. Oh, got killed, don't know how. That really confused me, I don't know how I died. I think the murderer must have come up behind me. I'm just really shocked. So you can also exchange your candy for coins and coins let you buy different things in the game like uh, emotes, different weapons and different items to carry around. Here's me zooming into everybody's avatar, rating them. I think I rated her an 8 out of 10 and the other one a 6 out of 10 because I don't like pink that much so yeah. But here yeah, I'm just waiting for ages because it's really annoying, so just started doing a random emotes. Don't know why, <laughs> but I did. So I'm just waiting for the next round to start and for this one to be over. The game also gives you different emotes you can do, and it's really fun. Different dances, dance three, dance two, dance one. My personal favorite is dance one. And here's the shop. So basically, there's Halloween stuff down here. There's different emotes you can get. But I didn't really have enough diamonds and for some of these they don't really do much because I'm saving up for a weapon box and as you can see here it's 1000. I do not have enough money for that because I'm not very rich but yeah. So I really do want the shaded and the high tech one and the leaf but also the night fire and I can't really pronounce this one but I don't know but I really want that one as well but I do not want clown or lovely because I don't think they're very I don't know but they just seem a bit weird anyways this round has just finished and the I don't know who it is I think the murderer might have won but we can see and another round will be starting soon and the hero has saved the day. So if you don't know what hero is, it's if the murderer kills the sheriff and the sheriff is meant to shoot the murderer, but the sheriff's gun will drop and one of the innocents has to pick it up to try and shoot the murderer themselves. So here, and then they're called a hero. So here's what happened. Okay, so I'm gonna vote research facility because I like the blue fountain because you can hide in it. And I really like hiding in the fountain to run away from the murderer. And I also hate being innocent because there's not really much of a role to do when you're innocent. So, yeah. So here we can see it's loading map. And we're going to be playing research facility. Here we go. And I am inno. I didn't see that comment. <laughs> yeah, I did. Anyways, nasty cough there. Um, I don't like being innocent, as I said, because there's not much to do. So here I am going to hide in the fountain because I'm scared of every single player I see because they could be the murderer and they could kill me and I could have to wait for ages for the round to be done. So survival XP is going up as you stay alive, it's going up in fives and you want to try and get as much as you can so that's why I like hiding so I can get it but you're not really meant to hide, you're meant to be trying to figure out who the murderer is to tell the sheriff or you're meant to be looking for when the sheriff dies to pick up the gun to shoot the murderer if you know who it is but I'm just hiding every now and then I like to pop out collect the candy and then run back in but I saw this in the wall and I don't know what it is and then it moved and then I got really scared and I jumped back in the fountain because who doesn't jump in the blue fountain of random acid is that they don't know what it is when they're scared me not me I mean yeah but I'm going back in the fountain and every time there's a candy that appears I'm just gonna pop out and take it because why not free candy everybody loves that 
So just taking some more candy, making sure the murderer isn't around, and then just popping out again, take more candy. Gotta make sure there's nobody here. And then there's a lot of candy down there, so I decided to go down. Risky, but paid off. Didn't want to go in the teleporter, so I ran back. And then I jump back in the fountain, because who doesn't do that? And then I decided there's more candy, so I'm just going to come back out. But then I think I, I thought I had somebody come in, so I jumped back in the fountain, because I didn't want to be around people. But then nobody did come, so I just got some more candy, waiting for people to come. And then I saw somebody come along, and they were the murderer, and they killed me. And then they won. So, long story short, I died in that round. <sighs> Very annoying, because I can never survive. I don't know why, but I just can't survive. So the murderer did one, and yeah. So I'm going to go exchange my candy again, even though I don't have a lot of candy, I only have 18 candies. But I want to make sure I exchange all the candy I get, so yeah. So the loading map now, so we're going to see what map it is, and it is this map. And I'm in a... Yay! Again! Innocent. So fun. I love being innocent. Totally. Anyways, so I'm just going to go explore a bit because I haven't really played this map a lot, but here's me debating whether to go over it. Saw somebody else go over it, so I decided to go over it. Then I just started walking around over here and then decided to collect the candies that I saw. But then I saw a candy trail path. Did, didn't decide to follow it because Hansel and Gretel followed a candy path and it almost got cooked in an oven. So I decided not to do that. But there, there I am going into an oven or on the convey belt to go into an oven. But so I gave up and just followed the path along because I was getting bored because I was innocent and the murderer hadn't come along. I didn't see the sheriff. I didn't actually see a lot of players in this round. And I saw somebody, I ran. It might have been the murderer. Don't think they were. Could have been though. So I just ran back to where I started, collecting the more candies, taking all the stuff. So much candy around here. I don't know why. It's really weird, but there is. So, yeah. So I'm just collecting some more candies. And then I saw some more people, and I got really scared. And then I went into first person. I don't know why, because I, I think it's probably because I saw the murderer. I don't know why I went into first person though. Still don't understand this very second but anyways i did we can't take that back then i saw somebody die and i got really scared i didn't know where to go so i decided to climb up back onto the top of the oven fell down and panicked and then tried to jump back up again and i got up and then i got the candy and i was just like hiding behind there and i accidentally found this man and he was really annoying because he gave me a jump scare you obviously you can't tell right now but i did have a jump scare and then i found this i don't know how I was even meant to get in there, but I did. So that was fun. And I hid in there for a while until I poked out. I had a look, went back in. Because I think I saw somebody. I don't know. Probably just me being a scaredy cat, but yeah. Hiding in there for a while. Just looking around. Not much to see, but I was looking around. So just wondering when the murderer is going to come inside and get me. And just still waiting. Still waiting waiting and then i popped out and then i just like had a look around and i was debating whether to jump down i did in the end then i saw the murderer and i really wished i hadn't jumped down and then i tried to get back up but she got me and then she won i told you i had a really serious problem trying to survive in this game gosh and then yep yeah, that was the end of that round i was waiting for my turn and then the sheriff had died and the murderer had won, so that was fun. But, oh, well, time to go on to the next round. Loading map. So, I don't know what this map was, but I really, really hope it was not that one again. And, nope, it wasn't that one, it was the other one. And I'm Eno again. <sighs> just, who doesn't love being innocent? Anyways, just wandering around, debating whether to go back into that blue fountain. Probably shouldn't. So I... Went up there, for no reason. Went into the vent, because I saw somebody. Saw someone down there, got freaked out, and went back the other side of the vent. Then I didn't know if somebody was following me, so I just tried to climb up there. And then I fell down, and then I was panicking, because I couldn't get back up. And then I saw a red light, and I went to go investigate. 
and then there was a bunch of water over there i don't know why but it was then i saw someone and i ran away because i didn't i really just really didn't want to go near her and then i just decided to collect candies for no reason and then i ran into this girl and i got really scared and i thought she was the murderer and i was almost 100 percent certain that she was the murderer so i decided to stay around away from her and then she just came right past me and then i was really annoyed because i didn't want her to kill me as the murderer so i just ran in here don't know why started running around again hoping that nobody would come and then i gave up and went back into the town stayed there for a very long time and then i got scared that she was the murderer and scared that she saw me go in and was waiting for me up there so i did not come out the fountain and then I saw her come along and I was certain she was the murderer and so I was like trying not to breathe too loud even though it's just in the game and she can't hear me breathing and then she just ran away and I was just waiting in there waiting for my survival XP to go up and nothing really exciting happened during now to be honest nothing at all really exciting happened until she came along and then she looked really suspicious she jumped in the fountain and i was really scared so i tried to get out of the fountain and then all of a sudden we got victory to be honest i don't even know how and then i was sure that that other girl was the murderer and then i had a look she wasn't the murderer it turned out to be that girl that was the murderer and that person was the sheriff so yeah that was pretty much the end of that round decided to go exchange my candies because why not for coins and um, yep on to the next round loading map okay so i don't know what map it was in this one but i hope it wasn't the factory again and yep look at that it's the factory again <laughs> and i'm also innocent isn't this wonderful so just wandering along here going up the ladder and I was just trying to walk around and the girl that I said last time with the rainbow hair that I thought was definitely the murderer thought that was definitely the murderer this time again. So I decided to hide because I saw her and I actually said that if she is actually the murderer and I guessed it right, everybody has to subscribe. Everybody that's watching this has to subscribe like right now. So, yeah, and then I thought that girl was the murderer, but I was like, no, it's the other person, it's surely the other person. And then I was just really annoyed because people were just, like, walking around and, like, nobody was the murderer, so I couldn't even, like, tell the sheriff or anything. And I decided to go back to collect the candies until I saw them people fighting and a dead body on the floor. I ran. <laughs> I don't want to be around that anymore. So, I don't know what I was doing here, but I was just kind of walking around, I guess. Collecting candies is normal. I was just like looking around. I wasn't actually scared of too many people in this one. Apart from the girl that I thought was actually the murderer. I decided to go back to my secret oven spot. Because everybody loves that spot. And then that girl came along and I got really scared and I went back in there. And then she came in too. She jumped on my head for some reason. I was really weird, stood there for a while, wondering why she even came in here. So I just went back out. And I saw that person again. I was really annoyed because I didn't want anybody to come get me because I don't want a problem staying alive in this game because I can never stay alive when I'm innocent. But I'm just walking around, collecting candies. And then I saw that girl, who I thought was the murderer, was actually the murderer. And I was really confused. I was like... How did I guess that? Out of every player in the game. So I was very, very happy because I actually guessed that. So now everybody of you that's watching this has a subscribe. So I'm just walking around now waiting for the other turn. Going to exchange my candies because I don't really need candies. I just kind of want monies. So, yeah. On to the next round. Okay, so now I'm very annoyed actually i'm not i'm the murderer i thought i was gonna be innocent <gasps> oh my gosh i'm the murderer finally i'm the murderer if i mess this up spoiler alert i messed this up big time anyways if i mess this up i'm gonna be so angry i could have got her then but i didn't decided not to so i just came out and there was loads of people running around and i decided that i'll try and 
get my knife out and then I decided to accidentally spam my keyboard and got my knife out as well as some other stuff and I was really confused and then I decided to go kill some people but I didn't really know how to because I'm never really the murderer and I eventually I, I couldn't get anybody and I realised that she's the sheriff and I almost killed her and that was good and then she picked up the gun and then I tried to get her and then she got me I messed this up I was very annoyed my one chance of being the murderer I messed it up isn't that just wonderful <sighs> brilliant me hey one forgetting to press the microphone on button to having to do a voiceover two mess up my only chance to be murderer aren't oh, i just great well i don't even have any candy so and i said to myself i swear if on the next round i am innocent i am going to end the video okay